What's up, guys? Well, Expo back here, and today we're on an oldie, a goodie, but a new version of an oldie and a goodie. You know what I'm saying? Um, the new mini set first came out, just came out today. Um, at least as of recording this, I got the prompt for the new mini set today. Yeah, does that make sense? The mini set of Whispers in the Caverns or something like that. The one for Forge of the Baron. Uh, we got a couple really cool new cards. Uh, a card that you'll probably hear me talking about in the video. More like I guarantee it. Um, a card that I'm very, very excited to be playing with in tomorrow's video. You guys can guess what it is. You know, leave it down below. Um, but yeah, I'm trying out a Big Priest, but a special version of Big Priest that is playing OTK with Prophet Velen and Malagos. Also, I wanted to try against all odds. Um, card gaming clutch once. Um, I do think it's not necessarily the worst um, board wipe in Priest. I genuinely think that um, there are a couple of worse ones. Uh, mainly Plague. I know that seems weird to say, but Plague is just way too expensive. Um, I feel like this card has potential, depending on the meta uh, severely. If the meta is filled with, obviously, odd attack minions, this card becomes insane, right? Um, but yeah. Or else, the only real big difference is this version is playing Mind Blast. Uh, so basically, if you can go, like, say, discounted Mass Res off palm readings, right? And you hit Mally Mally Velen or Mally Velen Velen or, you know, a combination of those two. Um, actually, if you just hit one and one, Mind Blast do 20 damage. Um, so say if you go, so if you have two of them out, you can go, like... Uh, Vargoth into Mind Blast. So if you have a Vargoth out, you could theoretically high roll and go res res Mind Blast and just kill someone. It's a good meme. Um, but yeah, there's not much else to say. Uh, I am going to be doing something different for the mini set. Uh, typically I've done a set review, um, but I don't want to do a set review. I feel like everybody, all the all the streamers and all the, the people do set reviews. My opinion is much weaker in my opinion than theirs because they're actually good at the game. <laughs> um, but I want to I want to do a video more later on talking about how I find the new cards affected the meta, at least at the more meme ranks, because I know a lot of those players get Meowth and people like that, you know, Trump HS, they play, well, Trump HS plays standard, but they play at like the higher competitive ranks, right? I've seen us at like top 3000 legend, clearly not actually good at the game, um, but I was playing, I was playing against a lot of meme decks and I want us to talk about how the new cards affect those that meta more than the uh, competitive meta. Because I feel like people that watch me, watch me more for memes. But yeah, anyways, I don't want to talk too much more. This is already a super long intro. Uh, I just want to say, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do, please leave a like, subscribe, that general shit. Follow me on Twitch. I'll be streaming again the day after this, or the day this goes up. Uh, again, I'm going to try to start a little bit earlier. I don't know if I'll be able to. I have a lot of stuff to currently working on in life, school and whatnot um follow me on twitter to know when i go live and uh, yeah with the song ending because that's just the classic way i go out you know what i'm saying hope you guys enjoy rip the gang grab a drink and let's hop right into the first game i guess i'll see y'all there peace okay this hand is actually terrible Yeah, you can uh, go ahead and you can show them to me. I'm always down to see some funny decks. Oh, I really hope that the new um, Against All Odds is good. The card seems powerful on paper. I don't know how good it's actually going to be. But on paper, on paper, it seems pretty good. This hand's actually also kind of insane. Big hit. Ginormous fucking hit. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this here. Uh, do we want a double health? No, I think shield's good. I think shield is slightly better here. This is like huge. I can actually just do this next turn. Depending what I hit, I'm in like a really, really good spot. Like I can hit blood into like Velen. 
or something and be chillin'. It's looking like Mechathune, so I actually might just try to greed by slamming this. Depending what I draw. Uh, Jumali? Not great. I mean, it does increase my odds at hitting blood. That was that actually popped off really hard. A 10 health Vargoth here is like really, really good. You might not actually be able to kill this because it has so much health. It's got a big booty. Oh, Dark Skies is actually really good there for him, huh? Did not see that one coming. Oh, fuck. 50-50? 50-50 high roll? 50-50 low roll? Fuck. But it's okay. <clears throat> fuck. How do you draw a card change its cost to health? Instead of mana. I can see how that could be good. But I can also see how that could be like really fucking bad. He should be playing quest in that deck I feel. Yeah I 100% feel like quest would be kind of nuts in that deck. What the fuck? Wait, what? Oh, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Costs health instead of mana. That's insane. Okay. Um, wasn't expecting that really. Be insane in Mecha too, no? Oh, it is Mecha Thun. Interesting. To resurrect here. Okay. Yeah, this this his deck looks actually kind of hilarious. It seems like a, actually a pretty solid Mechathune list, no cap. I mean Mechathune is just 10 health in that case, right? Wait, is this cards? You draw card oh my god, it's cards. That seems broken. What the fuck? Yeah, so this is 100% Mechathune. What the fuck? Oh, wait. I kind of want to try a deck with that now. I kind of want to try cube lock with that. Or quest warlock. That seems like a good ass fucking meme. No cap. That seems like a fucking hilarious deck. Jesus. Alright, hold up. Let me, let me take a quick look at these. Quick peeks at these decks. Now no, I think what deck I'm gonna be playing uh tomorrow on stream. Oh, I can imagine a deck with it is inconsistent, but just see how good this like could be. Right, let you just cycle through your entire deck. Hold up. 
Hold up. Do you think you can just build like... Okay, I think I want to... I know what I want to do with this guy. I 100% know what I want to do with this guy, actually. It's my next deck. So this is just like... Cool. But, uh, yeah, I have a hilarious idea of how to play with that card. OG Darkest Hour, but better. I like it. Yeah, this guy seems absolutely fucking broken. I could see this guy getting nerfed, I think. Okay, I guess it depends how good the decks are going to be. But I don't want the card to get nerfed. I like when there's really powerful cards. That. But yeah, um, I have I have a I have a very interesting idea which I'm gonna work on tomorrow after my test with uh, that guy. It's gonna be a very very unique deck. Um, I'm hoping turn five turn six lethals. Uh, but yeah. I guess. I don't know what the meta is currently going to be like, but I have a feeling I'm going to see a lot of that. Um, I saw I saw a shaman list on Reddit. I didn't quickly look at it. I just saw that it was shaman. I possibly want to keep that penance. More like I definitely want to keep that penance. Um, so like that might be a good one. Oh shit! I forgot something. I gotta play music. Um, yeah, I forgot to play music. What the fuck is wrong with me? Uh, but yeah, I saw, I saw a shaman list. And I kind of want to try it out. But I have no idea what the fuck it is. So that's kind of weird to say. I want to leave those other cards in the list. Oh, okay, so just taking a quicker look at it now, it's just an aggro deck. So I actually don't really want to try it. But, uh... If it's big, I just randomly pull a Mally, which is nice. Okay, it's most likely just an aggro deck. That means this card is actually insane. Alright, let's go back down to the good old days of three mana hysterias. Kind of missed that one, not gonna lie. The new warlock guy, I can't actually get over that. The card that actually looks mad busted. It's actually mad busted. Hopefully he doesn't have one damage here. If he doesn't have one damage here and this sticks, that's huge actually. It's actually huge that this sticks. This is huge too. Breath? One time? Huge. Actually ginormous. This is kind of tech here, right? Yeah, it doesn't resurrect with fresh. Which is actually ginormous for me. You couldn't kill it last turn, I don't think you can kill it this turn, which means I get a free shadow. This free shadow's huge. Huge, I say. Blood? Can I hit Velen? Oh my god, no Velens? I'm getting griefed. <laughs> he just thinks I'm regular, but if he would've saw the Velens, he would've known I was not regular. That's trying to meme. Can't let me meme. Can't believe the guy did not let me meme with Big Priest. What the fuck? Uh, I love Big Priest, though. Big Priest is... A really fun deck. If you guys haven't tried out Big Priest, I would definitely recommend trying out Big Priest. Deck is actually like I don't know if it's because I like uh reanimation decks, but Big Priest 
kind of hits different, you know, compared to a lot of other um, decks in this game, I find. And it just has a completely different playstyle. You can find, like, a lot of the aggro decks play a lot the same. A lot of the control decks play a lot the same. But, like, there's nothing really I find to compare Big Priest to. Because it's not, like, um... It, in, in my opinion, it's not, like, uh, Big Shaman. It's not, like, Big Warrior. It's not, like, Big Druid. Things like that. It's completely different. I find it makes the deck really, really interesting to play. Also, I kind of fucked up mulling uh, the Thriving Shadows. Card is actually super good in the deck. And almost, like, an auto-keep. Unless you're just always fucking lucky. Oh my god. I don't think it's legal to have this good draws. Honestly. Oh, and you're giving me more cards to play with? Sheesh. Divine Spirit feels like it can pop up right there. It is a combo deck. So I feel less bad about having a broken draw like this. You know how to make encanters feel balanced? Affects both players' decks. Make the card like mega balance. I'm gonna put the five mana one. Hopefully, he kills the minion. If he kills the minion, I can go res plus shadow to get another minion. And then, you know, we're popping off kind of like that. It's not the Flame Waker version, I doubt. So, I mean, it could it could very easily be the Flame Waker version. Oh my god, it's the Flame Waker version. It's still just dead. I'm de dead depending on what he drew the turn after that Encanter's blow. He only has one card in hand that's like actually discounted, discounted type shit. So like, you know. He's about to be real mad. He's about to be Omega mad. Out of my game <laughs> get out of my game with your flame waker otk dead stay in silver <laughs> there's a lot of people talking exactly like this to me when i was fucking losing in legend i have no doubts in my mind that that was happening oh but this deck man this deck hit different out of that beverage Oh my god, I'm playing as Krispy Kreme himself. The light of my daughter. Palm Reading's huge card. Palm Reading's is actually such a filthy card. I don't know how that card like stays in the game. I feel like it's absolutely fucking broken. It's so good. It makes decks by itself. More than other decks, in my opinion. Right, sure, like, cards like Flame Waker make Flame Waker Mage, but, like, I think, like, one of the things that's holding Priest up as a deck itself is Palm Readings, it's Shadow Visions. They're just, like, auto-includes, I think, in any Priest deck you're building. Even a deck that doesn't play that many spells. Turns out Priest spells, when you reduce their cost by one, are just no longer fair. Or in concept, I know. Okay, I'm getting insanely fucking lucky here. Like, bruv. I just, need to st I just take the beating here, right? Every time. It's a really good draw. 
I'm just like accept my booty getting blasted. I take five here, I'm down to 20. I slam this next turn. If I hit blood, I win the game. If I hit Vargoth into blood, I win the game. So it's just like, okay. You know? Like, I'll, I'll take it. See, like, I feel like this deck, if I had to wait till turn six to play this, I'd be in such a worse position. Like, so much worse. I guess I can't hit Vargoth anymore, but still, like... Ah, uh, that was actually... Possibly the worst one to hit? That was definitely the worst one to hit. I don't die here. 7, 8, 9, 10. I get really close to it. I'm dead to, like... Buddy's trolling. <laughs> Steals 4p damage. How is this ever the right play? You know I'm playing big after I just Shadow Essent of King Mali. deal 14 to the board i uh quickly draw a mind blast please let's see who play or favor get malagos man oh my god <laughs> let's play this race dead that just kills me <laughs> oh i did not quite realize that mali and velen worked on race dead I never played them in the same deck as I said to be fair. I wanna nuke my board. Okay. Well, I mean that's a full heal. But uh right now, I mean Theoretically, I do this, plus this, plus Mind Blast, and he dies. How do I always hit worst possible? Like, come on, cuz. Yeah, well. Oh, okay. Uh, I still have Servitude, Resurrect. Um, my Blast, which is 15. Can I get Velen plus, uh, what's his face? Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Kill that here. Much I wish that could go face. I have so many Malagoses. I guess it does wipe the board here. He's gonna get the thing that pops everything that's huge, right? Yeah. Okay, I can slam Spellstone. I'll just hope they don't completely low roll. I guess I can't slam Spellstone here. That was such a high roll. Actually, no cap, giant fucking high roll. And thinking about it now, against all odds, it's really bad in this deck. Whenever you summon a minion from your deck, either through Blood or Shadow Essence, they're odd attack. This guy's actually really bad. This is actually kill realistically. He slams Lotheb, he can't slam Zephyrus, which means he can kill that. Okay, he can kill that. Kill that. He still has a Zephyrus in hand, so I don't really want to play into Zephyrus anymore. 
Uh, I mean, I can do this. This. Uh, I did that in the wrong order. That's fine. The big thing is, as soon as I draw Mind Blast or Rise slash Shadow Visions, he kind of just dies. Zephyrus, destroy everything that, costs five, that has power 5 or greater. Or actually, it's going to be twisting because this is a 12 health minion. And then it's going to be twisting. Or Hex, but then he can't theoretically kill both of those. It's fine. Mind Blast? No? Okay. Slam this here. Oh, I just realized I only have blood left. Bloods left in my deck. Kind of annoying that both mind blasts though are in the bottom twelve cards of my deck. He hasn't played Grumble yet. Yeah, he, he, I mean, he failed out in the combo. There's no one mana card that saves him here, right? needed that no i definitely didn't need that but we had it anyways to just make sure to like overkill him hey let's go let's fucking go popping off this deck solid straight up solid i wonder if this is the better way to play this deck i mean okay the right play to play this the right way to play this deck is just to high roll if we're being honest this is one of those most high rolly decks in the game, in my opinion. Like, oh, uh, filthy high rolls. Funny games you don't hit. Palm readings plus uh, shadow essence on curve are like much harder to win. <laughs> much, much harder to win. Palm readings and the shadow visions. All I have to do is high roll again. I roll again. This is a turn four big minion. Again, blood and Vargoth are optimal, but even hitting. Oh, this is so much harder now. Actually, so much fucking harder now. I read the counter spell early. Cued into a priest, I was 90% sure the first thing he would do is coin out uh, or cheat out the. Do this first. Maybe I should have been greedier and picked this spellstone. I don't know. I do have a condemn in hand, but it takes time to set up condemn. There was also Thrive, I guess. Go for a second. He's gonna draw three here. Oh no, he doesn't draw three. Okay. That means it's Flame Ward or Explosive Runes. One or the other. Either way. Oh, for not a counter spell. Oh, of course, you have the 5 5 on curve. Awesome. I, oh, no, I can't kick it curve. Prevent him from drawing more cards here. It's arguably the optimal play. Oh my god, man's curve is actually fucking insane. I'm at 9 health on turn 5. Like, okay.
I couldn't prevent the draw three here. Oh well. Looks like this is the first loss. Turns out not hitting shadow since is really fucking bad. Who would have thought? This hand was perfect with Shadow Essence though. I would have hit Shadow Essence and I would have hit Blood and then hit another minion. This spell still won me the game. Actually straight up won me the game. Also, I mean, Rez Rez is really fucking good if I don't just die here to burn. I most likely will just die here to burn. I... The other thing like, right? Could have drawn like penance and I'd been like super far ahead. If he has Cloud Prince, he slams it here every single time, in my opinion. Or you just BM him because you also have the fireball. Yeah, no. Okay. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. I mean, I was I was bound to lose. I was on like what a four game winning streak at that point. I was not gonna be surprised when I would have lost the game. To be fair, I do have to win nine games in, or ten games in a row to get an achievement. They really want, but it's like, in my opinion, really really hard to win ten games in a row, right? Like that's I'm not imagining that. It's not something you just kind of do it is but it's uh, harder than it seems it might just be bad but harder than it seems to me at least uh hard mo here for oh i hit the shadow essence i'm skilled at the game and a shadow vision game you're too good to me hopefully it's not another secret mage secret mage is such an obnoxious matchup Secret Mage draws anywhere as close to how they drew last game. Kind of like an instant loss. So against all odds feels like a sniper dead card in my hand right now. Like actually like the most dead card in the game. I want to play a deck that's not big. But that also plays, you know, six shadow visions. Six shadow visions, too many shadow visions. Or am I like tripping? You know? Just slam this. It was more important to slam this here. It would slow down the draw if he did have draw, and it could proc the counter spell. Again, Secret Mage is a matchup you win like ten percent of the time, in my opinion. It's it's actually. Just as it was the worst matchup for, uh, what's it called? Uh, I forget the name of the deck. Yeah, just as it was the worst matchup for, why can't I think of the name of the deck now? Um, Flame Wicker Mage and Mizaki Mage. It's like the worst deck for any spell based deck in my opinion. It's a mixture of a really fast, right? Really well statted minions. A two, one mana two one draw three, or one mana two one to heal six damage to a minion trample. You know things like that. Like that just feels insanely powerful to me, right? I'm like not the only one. You know, like this. Like that's a turn four board. Like okay. I'm gonna just dead on board, right? Five plus eight is fourteen. Yeah, I'm just dead on board. Shut the fuck up. You do double Kirin Tor Mage, counter spell Cabal in rigged fair games. You lose it. That's the other thing. I find Secret Mage loses every game, it doesn't draw rigged fair games. Like just straight up, it's like unwinnable for that deck. So I mean I guess. You have it on three, you have it on three, plus a four three, it's, or on two, plus a four three, it's really fucking good. Everything he had just kind of lined up perfectly with what I had. Am I queuing into my third secret mage in a row? Hey, third secret mage in a row, let's fucking go. 
house that I hit every secret mage. And quite literally, when I was playing any deck that played like Eater of Secrets or whatever, I like didn't hit a single secret mage. Oh, I drew a blood. It's funny how drawing blood is actually like disheartening. It, it like it makes it so much harder to win. I basically have an entire dead slot in my hand, which really fucking sucks. By the way, I hope everybody in chat has a drink. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, you always need a drink to watch the content. I don't have a secret on two. Oh my god, why did I hit three secret mages in a row? It's like this deck like coming back because if so I want to quit the game again. I want to go on another hiatus. I don't want to play against secret mage. If he plays a secret here, I'm going to be tilted. He's just play a good minion. Play a good minion. Oh, it's gonna be double secret. Yeah, I'm convinced this card is actually awful. How do I know that it drew him counter spell? Of all secrets to get. Counter spell was the only terrible one for me. I really want the coin here, but it was super bad too. here it sucks as he draws three cards almost a guaranteed here yep there's the draw three my distance is draw three counter which is like best case scenario for him right i kind of have to play as if he hit best case scenario but like that prevents me from taking six here which is like actually ginormous taking six is the difference between winning and losing Play your next secret. You're gonna play the zero mana one first. Yes. I feel like I have to think it's. I just have to assume it's counter, right? If I okay, if I go or play around counter, I kind of just lose the game with it. So it's not counter spell, which is huge actually. All right. The reason for that Mind Blast is it slows him down even more. If he has a Briggs for games on the battlefield right now, uh, it prevents it from triggering. Which means he'll be, he'll trigger it, but he's gonna use whatever he gets off of it to kill this. Do you have another secret, really? Oh my god. You didn't play that last turn? Three here for sure. Yeah, I knew he had a rigged fair games in. Oh my god. I lose this games, I actually just never have a safe time to play this. Hey, how's it going? I think here I just have to slam. I think that's the right play here. It sucks to say, but it's. It has to just be the right play. I'll die if I basically don't. Okay, he didn't play another secret, thank god. I can slam this first. Oh, fuck me. I'm getting palm readings, yeah. Uh, I have not utilized the new cards yet, but tomorrow I'm going to be playing a deck with one of the new cards. It looks very, very interesting to me. Very, very interesting to me. I hate secret... How the fuck have I queued into three secret mages in a row? For fuck's sake, man. Can I hit something different? It's not just my worst matchup. Three games in a row? That'd be great. We're doing so good. We were five and one. And then we hit secret mage. Alright. Fourth secret mage in a row. Let's go. Let's fucking go, boys. So if I hit it, pre recorded. Just. Actually fucking pre recorded. I 
All right, thank God. Um, the, the deck is gonna be Warlock. I, okay, I can tell you what card it utilizes because I feel like it's obvious if I'm saying Warlock. The guy who makes your spells cost health. The first game I played in the new meta, I queued into that. And card looks like super pog. The card looks so fucking pog. I, I have a very tiny brain idea to go with it, but I love it, so it's okay. It's probably one of the more unique decks you'll see with it. Darkest, I mean, Darkest Hour might just be the best version of that, but it's not fun to always just, oh, this deck is tier one. Let's just grind the shit out of this, in my opinion. I like varying it up. This has to be the right play here. I hate this play so much. I hate that other play so fucking much. I'm gonna absolutely fucking get demolished once he has a buff spell, but it's something I just have to accept. Um, I have to accept it for the memes. Come on, player. Lotus. Oh, well, yeah. I at least kill these. Uh, he keeps these up, which is kind of obnoxious, but... Uh, yeah. He keeps those up, but it's whatever. Um, I might not get to play in the deck tonight. Uh, worst in source, I'll play it tomorrow. But, uh, yeah. Oh, it's, is that Mally Druid? Because that's another deck I wanted to try. So I'm, I'm down for that, too. I have this next turn into this. Which is really, really nice. I kind of wanted to save that, because if I hit Mally, it's like game 8. Or 2, which is... Kind of insane, but uh, maybe it was better to just condemn, kill both of them. That'd be what? Three health lower? Okay. I could look into making said changement blood. Here we pop off. Hey, look, it's Mally. <laughs> My opponent is confused. My opponent has no idea why the fuck the deck he's playing against is playing Malagos. A lot of people today have been have had no idea why the fuck his opponent has been playing Malagos in an aggro meta. But it's funny. That's all that matters. Kill blood here. That's fine. I guess this he has power. Air eclipse. He has to be terrified of the Malagos, right? He's not just going to leave the Mali up. If he does, he's going to be really upset. There's no way he leaves it up. And it's trolling. Bruh. Bruh. Man's trolling. Straight up man's trolling. Ooh, 20 damage mind blast. Let's fucking go. Why? I mean, they're not giving them away. You still have to pay for them. Why? Because I presume people want to get them. Being someone that has gotten every single hero portrait in the game, I've paid every single one of them with real money. Um, it's whatever. I mean, I'm I'm always happy to see more people with the hero portraits, but some people some people just want to have uh, the pretty hero portraits. They are much nicer, in my opinion, than the ones you get for free. Boom. 15 damage mind blast to the fucking dome. Let's go. Wait, do I have any quests? Am I just trolling not doing quests? Let me just check if I have quests. Oh, well, I'm not 
playing those classes right now. I require 20 times, so that is never gonna happen playing this deck. Deck is an OTK deck. I don't have Penta plus Hero Power. Ugh. You know what I'm actually like kind of hyped that they are giving away though? The card backs. another deck code i'm gonna i'm gonna look at all the deck codes in a bit um so if you guys have any other deck codes you want to see um or do you want my opinion on I'll just post them in chat right now i'm kind of looking for as many decks as possible so if you guys just have any deck codes you think would be fun to watch uh post them in chat i'll take a look at all of them after probably like one or two more games I am running out of deck ideas. To be fair, most of my deck ideas I don't even come up with. I have other people come up with them for me. Because I am not creative enough for that. Okay. Ooh, I'll take more cards. That card looks bog. I wonder how good this one is. Honestly, like, this card looks kind of good. No cap. I think it's a very, very meta dependent, and I don't know if it's that great in the meta in the current meta. Can I draw a palm readings right now? That'd be broken in this end. The fact that I've yet to draw a minion, I've drawn this many cards is astounding to me. Uh, I don't know if it's the worst. Priest AoE. It's definitely a unique one. I'm playing it's like a mill warlock. What the fuck is this? Of course I burned the fucking Pomeranes. You guys gotta fucking... They're trolling me. I'm getting griefed. I'm getting griefed. Pomeranes in this hand would have been fucking filthy. Actually disgusting. I have coin shadow into shadow. The reason I think this is good, especially in the current meta, um, the new Warlock guy, isn't he like a 3-6? So it also kills that, it kills the, uh, Malganus. I guess they don't always have to go off with Malganus, they can go off with a 4-3, but, um. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't hit it with that, which is good. This deck, I think, requires just way too much hard draw in the early game. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Ah, easy clap. You gotta, you just gotta, you gotta believe. Belief in the heart of Big Priest. Believe in Big Priest. That's that's what I do. Uh, I don't know. I have yet to play through any... Uh, no, I played through the Jaina spellbook. I've been meaning to play through them on the stream, actually. I have to play through all of it to get one pack. Damn. Would you guys be interested in watching the spell books, by the way? Because I've been definitely thinking about doing them. Key of the Blasted Tower. Right now, Mind Blast is lethal. Wait, I missed lethal. No, I didn't. Okay, I didn't have Velen dead yet. I had Velen dead, I had missed lethal. Ah, no. I could have gotten screwed by RNG. Okay. Yeah, if, it would 100% it would be after. Gonna burn a card, isn't he? Oh, he burned the plot twist. That's really bad for him.
If he gets low enough, he's dead to just servitude mind blast. Yeah, if he gets low enough, he's just dead to servitude mind blast. If he doesn't kill me, that is. So I guess you don't actually need quests in that deck, huh? Hmm. I don't want to build that with quest. Oh, there's no way he's expecting the, uh... Yeah, he got he got fucked there by that plot twist. Okay, I mean again, that deck is like old Mechathune, super super high variance. Okay, I'll play. I'll, I'll hit plot and then I'll look at the deck codes that were posted in chat. <sighs> but yeah, I want to build. I want to build a deck with that. But I don't want to go. I don't want to go Mechathune OTK. I'm going a different version of OTK with that deck. It's going to be even higher variance, but I think it's going to be worth it. I think it's going to be worth it. Do I need a list for that? No, I'm going to make one tomorrow after my exam. I don't know if everyone was here to hear it, but today is most likely going to be a shorter stream just because I have an exam tomorrow. Uh, or, sorry, today in, uh, at this point, like, six and a half hours. So I'll probably stop in, in, like, an hour or so. It very much depends when I start feeling tired. Um. This is just straight up zoo. Okay. Imagine not being creative and not playing any new cards in your deck on day, like, what is this, day one or day two of expansion? Like, oh my god. For me, I think it's still day one of expansion, so I think it came out today. Because yeah, I logged on yesterday to make a video and I didn't. I have to raise my chance of drawing Shadow Essence. This was the card you hit. Hmm, I can get value out of this. I actually got value out of that card, surprising. Okay. Come on. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, you you basically can just read the occasionally semi funny things I tweet out. <laughs> I need to put emphasis on semi funny because I do not think I am funny. These guys are all terrible. Actually, all terrible. Oh my god, man actually has the perfect fucking discards. I'm getting griefed. Straight up getting griefed. You can also uh, answer my accidental ex crises when I'm wondering if it's okay to have a Philly cheesesteak at 9 in the morning. No, I did not because I had a quiz. But I did make one right after the quiz. It was delicious. Uh, I think I need two more wins to hit flat. If I would have won that last one, yeah, I saw. I thought it was pretty good. I don't know. I should probably be a little bit more active on Twitter. I am. The I feel like the only social media I'm ever like active on is YouTube. All the other ones I post on, well, I guess Twitch as well, but. <laughs> uh. 
I did not, sadly. I kind of wished. Tomorrow I have an exam, and like, I'm not, I'm not a weird person during an exam where I'll have an exam at like 8 in the morning, and I'll bring like three Red Bulls, and I'll drink all three Red Bulls during the exam. I actually had a teacher pull me aside after one of my exams in high school, and I was like, hey, did you drink three Red Bulls during the test? I was like, yeah. You're gonna fucking die by the time you're 25. And I looked at her dead in the eyes, and I don't think I've ever seen a teacher that was more terrified when I said, that's a good thing. She was like, the fuck is wrong with this kid? And I thought it was the funniest thing on the fucking planet. I was pretty sure, like, the next day I was gonna get fucking called into the principal's office, be like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? The teacher never looked at me the same again for like the next two years I was at that school. But again, it's just. I just look at it as a minor caffeine addiction. It's not that bad. It could be worse. It could be like crystal meth. Oh, no shadow essence makes this game hard. Ooh, give me more cards. Ooh, give me that Shadow Essence, baby. Beautiful. It's easy, it's easy. Look, I have so many of those now. Drive? I'm pretty sure it's Mill Rogue, so I kind of want to use shit as fast as possible. And with my hand being triple Mind Blast, this Shadow Essence could just randomly give me lethal, which is fantastic. With another uh, palm readings, it's what? Another palm readings makes this hand uh, one mana deal 30, or if you deal 15, 30 with Malagos, 30 with Velen, 60 with both. Like, Jesus Christ. Let me play my hand. What the fuck? I'm actually getting grief. That's fine if there's no new cards. Let me play my minions. And my spells. You like my minions? Yeah. Look, look, look at these beautiful minions. There's the. I have to go for the safe right here. I, I clicked on palm readings. What the fuck? Game is actually fucking broken. This was supposed to be a palm readings. I was supposed to go palm readings at the shadow essence next turn. Person is trying to lose me the game. Person is trying to lose me the game. What the fuck? I'm actually getting grief. actually getting fucking grief chat what I find a lot of hood child of hell I think I just have to wipe here right of the play that's just you know what let's go with this Next turn, Resurrect is lethal. So as long as I don't die here. Res Velen into Mind Blast, Mind Blast, Mind Blast, and he just OTK'd. Get fucking meme on, kid. I don't like your invention. We're about to meme this kid. He won't even know what the fuck hit him. Look at, it, look at him playing all his new cards. He doesn't even know what Mind Blast is. a drink i can do that i almost can't do that drowning today hopefully not you guys will be able to make me drown next week 
most likely. I'm most likely gonna go buy a bottle of whiskey next week. Celebrate end of midterms. Probably get nearly as drunk as I was last week. Yo, last week I was fucked up. I remember legitimately from last week. Last week I went out with my friends. It was the first day where I live where they open things back up. Bro. I, I, I drank oh, three too many beers. <laughs> Ate one too many candies. Uh, I was, I was, I was, I was fucked up. <laughs>